If you need to remotely trigger a camera and you need both hands free, what do you do? Today we find out. Welcome to Azales TV, let's make something. I made a prototype out of Lego just so I can get a rough shape and everything else working. So my foot will be like, like that. Sits alright. Got a sole plate here to st stop it from moving around. I can put my foot like that and push down. I've got the springs inside here. But the spring I'll use for the actual funnel products will be different. I'll have switches in there to activate the remote. These are some of the parts I'm going to be using to make the foot pedal. Got the top pedal, the sole plate, parts for the hinges, the spring. This is going to be the axle that holds everything together. So I'm going to glue some bits up and take it from there. Should be glued enough now. And these are stop the wood glue from gluing up the mechanism because that would not be good. Right, let's have a look at this. Lovely stuff. Okay, I'll cut that to length. The switches go inside here. Oh. Somehow. Because I've got two and they've got to sit. One like that. And one further back like that. And that bit of focus on and that bit of trigger on. So the focus will activate first. And then the trigger. But it's working out timing for them. There you go. <sighs> okay, I have a problem. Because these are too short to have the holes up enough to have this mounted properly and not bind up, I've had to space them off with cardboard and that makes this just wobbly and horrible and it keeps coming off, I mean, it's ridiculous. So I'm going to have to rethink this, I'm thinking perhaps mount these, I mean look, it's, just, it's crazy, like that and have an actual strip of wood going across there and then mount this to this. So, let's give that a go. Heaven's sake. Right, so, hmm. I've got that going on. That's a lot more sturdy than the cardboard that was shimming it before. So that's good. I've got this on the end here, so this can go on top, like that. And hold it at the correct height. There's a bit of play there, but, hmm. We'll sort that out when we 
come to glue it. So that'll be like that. So I'm going to glue that in place. Leave that to dry. And then sort out any other alignment issues that we have. Right, here we go. Glued up nice. I've gotten rid of the weeble wobble. I had to do a bit of selective sanding on these faces. And it's because this wood here, uh, it's different level on these, these different holes is slightly different heights. So it made the whole thing rip. But that's corrected now. Right, like, next thing to do is put the switches in and put them at the back so that I've got a bit more travel on the switches. Put them around, that way around. Nice. Got to kill some holes in there to put the feet through and uh, that's the next step done. Soldering these switches now together. Doing this in the kitchen so I've got a bit more, a bit more light, a bit more room to just sit and work. That's the common connection to both switches soldered. first and then this one so that would be the focus switch and that would be the picture switch so spring will hold out there like that and there were two definite stops right more soldering Good morning everybody, it is the next day, here's what, what I was up to last night, I've wired these switches together, I brought the three leads out, here's the common lead, this one is for focusing, and this one is for the shutter, and they'll be attached to the socket which I'm going to put here, so that works, that works, I'm going to put a spring round about there, that'll glue in place. And it's about equal distance from the resting position to the first switch and then the first switch to the second switch. So it works. So I'm going to glue a circuit board under there, just a small, small piece of printed circuit board to solder these onto. I'm going to put the socket in here. I've notched out a little rebate or a rabbit or a wallaby, whatever you want to call it. I've got this socket here, it's on a lead. It's on a in line, uh, it's an in line type socket that'll go in place in that. That fits in quite snugly. Here's a close up of that socket, so it's got solder pins inside here. The outer casing is also a connection, and my remote cable just plugs into that.
added some bits since I did the socket I've added popsicle sticks or lollipop sticks depending where you're from inside we have that's a socket uh, that's glued in place I've cut notches in the insulation of the wires there so I can buzz out the wires to work out what's what so I've got a shutter wire common ground and a focus wire got that spring there I'm going to add a screw or something in there to engage with that when it's flapped down and lastly but by no means leastly I've cut this piece of wood and I've cut a notch in here and that'll glue over that so let's get gluing and soldering and everything else Well, that was touch and go. I actually thought I was going to run out, run out of black spray paint. But it is finished. Look at the glory. Painted inside and outside. So the innards were all nicely painted and the outed, outards were nicely painted. Bit of a different finish where I've filed in a few places and I've put wood glue down to, to fill holes. If I put a bit more time into it, I could have properly, properly made it all smooth and spray painted it, but as it was, I didn't have much time on this project. I had a many, many problems initially. And one of the problems was the first plug, which I put the wires on, um, the first socket rather, that actually failed. I went to plug the plug into it and it, it didn't work, it just jammed up. So this is actually a separate plug from what I'd initially soldered. But there you go. This one works. So we've got focus switch, shutter switch, the spring. Let's see how it works. First click, focuses. Second click, takes a picture.
that's it for this video if you liked it give it a big thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment down below stay tuned for more subscribe and i will see you next time have a great week Thank you.